Hello, everyone. This is your Sunday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's John Smith with a quick look at the forecast. Tonight, we'll watch those storms start to diminish through the overnight hours, and we'll eventually go partly cloudy to mostly clear with another mild night on the way. And then tomorrow and Tuesday, we watch for a few more storms once again over the higher terrain, the favored locations. But by the time we reach the middle and latter part of the week, we start to see that area of high pressure that's given us all the heat over the past week or so start to depart. And around it, we get to more of a southerly flow. And this is the beginnings of what looks like monsoon season here in New Mexico. We'll have better chances of seeing more widespread shower activity through the central and western parts of the state. We'll even have a few chances of showers and storms through the eastern part of the state as well. Thank you, John. State Parks officials are investigating the death of a small child today at Elephant Butte Lake. It happened around 10.30 this morning in the South Rock area. A State Parks spokesperson says the three-year-old girl was killed after falling off a pontoon boat and then getting hit by the boat's propeller. State police helped recover the girl's remains. Alcohol and foul play are not suspected. The girl's name has not been released. In New Mexico, as of today, anyone advertising any food products with New Mexico grown chili will have to be able to back up their claims. The State Department of Agriculture started enforcing the Chili Advertising Act today. The law was passed by the state legislature last year, prohibiting the sale of anything advertised as New Mexico chili if it's not. Chili vendors of all types are subject to the new law, including grocery stores and restaurants. A fatal shooting in Hobbs has left one man dead and another in custody. Hobbs police responded to a residence this morning on the 2800 block of North Del Paso after reports a man had been shot there. That's where they found 37-year-old Antonio Ortiz Jr. suffering from a gunshot wound. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police detained 48-year-old Johnny Hall at the scene. He is now charged with attempted robbery and first-degree murder. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.